So now we're saying let's take a copy of this, split it up, and put it in a neutral third party. So if you want to encrypt the document, I'm sorry, decrypt the document, well, you need both parts of the private key. So right? not everybody can decrypt the documents. Or not everybody can sign documents for the sake of proving that you are who you say you are and that you cannot deny it. Because now there's the private key is actually split up in the two. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, the private key is divided into two agencies. That's slightly different than... Yeah, you know I mean, you can have that too if you want to. But in this case, it's uh, divided between multiple agencies. Both agencies must work together to provide a complete copy of the key for example, law enforcement or via court order to sign something or decrypt it. So isn't there a, a corollary where you need to, a public key system where you, in some cases, not all cases, you need the ability to archive your private key in case it gets lost? Or well, archiving it mm -hmm. and putting it with a neutral third party is different. Yeah, it's, it's, there is an escrow concept of a bill that, that doesn't have anything to do with the government. So, so it's just. So, so this is basically, this was basically the Clipper escrow concept, right? They would right. split the keys. They would split each. Um, right. The that's a Clipper key box, between two agencies, two agencies, and you'd have to get a court order in order to combine the key. And, you know, a lot of overhead there, right? Right. Yeah, the Clipper chip used is more of a key escrow concept, but that's different than on a certificate authority right. archiving your keys. Right. So this is actually moves it to a third party. But this was the government's attempt to, to ameliorate the people who were concerned about privacy. Most of that. Would you like some super easy points? Yes. <coughs> down. You're going to need a way to remember all of your algorithms. So lucky for you, we have one. <laughs> this is a specific list of items. You're going to write down all of your symmetric algorithms and asymmetric algorithms. No, I was going to sneeze. Oh. Because <laughs> 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 as soon as I start this, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> That's okay. You know, yeah, just surprise me. Dramatic calls if you want. They know you need. It's all in my head, right? All right. <clears throat> so we need a way to remember this stuff. <clears throat> so we came up with a little, I don't know, mnemonic, if you will. <laughs> You can hear it. My ears are popping now. All right. So um, write this down. So easy to once you once I show you the trick to this. Alright. All right. That's the order of it. But not everybody can rattle off, you know, all your symmetric algorithms. So when I show you this, you're going to go, oh, I don't know. Now, why, why are we making you list now all the symmetrics versus the asymmetrics? <coughs> you can eliminate wrong answers. <laughs> exactly. All right. So let's do it. Watch this. 
A. These three guys had an idea to fish and cast up their rod to receive blowfish. What? <laughs> hey, don't, be, don't be jealous because you didn't think of it. Don't be jealous. <laughs> Now, I didn't think of that either. Staff well, Sergeant Vaughn did, and uh, it's a great contribution. But A, these three guys had an idea to fish and cast out their rod to receive blowfish. A, these three guys had an idea to fish and cast out their rod to receive blowfish. Yeah. Sorry about that, I had a meeting this morning. A, these three guys. Had an idea to fish, cast out their rod to receive blowfish. That's kind of like these pretzels are making me thirsty. Not really. It's more like, hey, these three guys had an idea to fish and cast out their rod to receive blowfish. Two fish is uh, version two of blowfish. your next one. These are all your asymmetrics. I don't have a cool name for this one, but I do have Derek's. No worries. I call it the Derek's model for remembering asymmetric algorithms, which is DSA, Elgamal, RSA, elliptical curve, knapsack, and serpent. That's it. That's it. That's all you get with that one. And ECC is either EC or ECC or, or as a, I think it's E dash C, elliptical curve, E dash C. Hey, these three guys had an idea <coughs> to fish and cast out their rod to receive bluefish. Sorry. I was trying to think of a way to, to differentiate the symmetric from the asymmetric. Oh, aside from the looks like these metrics like names. Most of them are in many cases. Rivis, Shamir, Adamin, El Gamal. What about Dippy Elman? You I mean, yeah, you could do that. What's the name? And that's actually your first asymmetric algorithm. Yeah, so what happened to it? <laughs> Doesn't fit. What's the last two with one K and K and S? Knapsack and circle. Maybe I have to come up with another model. I guess I forgot about it. Just add Diffie L. Duh. Plus Diffie L. Just put Derek's duh. <laughs> D.H. Derek's. You can do D.H. D.H. Derek's. D.H. Like a company name. That works. D.H. Derek's. Those are all names anyway, right? Yeah. You just made me change the model. It's now the D.H. Derrick's model. model. Diffie Hellman, Derrick's. DSA, Algamar, SA, ECC, NAB, Second Server. You're right there. Somehow I missed that when I made this up. Good stuff, though. Good question. Well, the first one said, <laughs> how long have you been using that? Wow. There's <laughs> another I just to get you a couple free points. The hardest thing is for some people is remembering, you know, which ones are which, because they don't see this stuff every single day. So when you have like little tricks like this that you can just rattle them off, it puts things into perspective sometimes. D. H. Derricks. Good stuff? Good stuff. I don't know. 
The company of D.H. Derrick smells. It's an so You guys saw the five. Question, while well, well, we're here, Charlie sure. talked about some investigation that you committed before that. Like Triple did, you know, almost like a gift, like one thing you did get. Can you, can you run the rest of them? Some of them. Some of them. Uh, let's see. Hey, yes. 128, 192, 256. This is uh, 56 plus 8, so 64 bits, which is your effective size there. This is 168, this is 128, this is 128. Our, uh, our, our, our blowfish is 448, so that's a dead giveaway. That's a dead giveaway. There's, there's some giveaways. Um, I mean, when you see 448, jump for joy, it's no other there. You see 168, it's got to be. Um, yeah. And then some of them are variable. So you can see there's slight differences in each one of these, like variable, 64, 168, 128, 128, I mean, fast, which are popular in like PGP and um, s and things like that. Which one is on PGP? Um, PGP, I believe, has let's cast the right idea and triple bass, I think. So I have to double check. We look, I keep forgetting it. We looked it up like four times. I'm just not second. All right. So, modes of encryption. Here we are. And you can also do uh, like RCX if you want to. So RC whatever the number is, just like your MDX for message digest, and then the version number. So symmetric. The big picture here, um, an easy, the easiest way to think about symmetric is to conceptually get it down. And you might want to, if you want to throw some keywords in here, it would probably be a good place to do it. Symmetric is the same key to lock as it is to unlock or to encrypt, to decrypt. For example, a padlock. Think of a padlock, a physical padlock on a fence. So you need the same key to lock the padlock as you need to unlock the pack, padlock. And that whole key needs to be kept secret. So it's called symmetric key, secret key, or private key, because the key has to be private. There's no element of it that can go out there to anybody, like a public key, so it's private key. Or asymmetric is a public key system. So when you refer to that public key like you did, I hope everybody else in the back of their mind is going, Pu okay, public key, all right, that means asymmetric because symmetric is a secret key, private key. I hope that's what's going on in the book. Well, the so for me, it helps. The gets confusing is because you know, it's, it's, it's asymmetric is public private key pairs. Right. For me, it helps to just call it symmetric secret Because it has to be secret. Right. Think about the key to your house, your lock. Use the same key to lock your front door as to unlock your front door. But that key needs to be kept private. You don't give it to anybody, do you? Right. You give your front. You do you give your uh, the key to your house or the key to your car or the key to your fence to anybody? No. So it has to be secret. There's no element of it that can just be given out to anybody. With asymmetric, you do have that. You do have that element of yeah, sure. You want my public key? Here you go. Post it directly. Yeah. We can pull it, put it on the inter you know internet. Right. Post it to the homepage of Google if you want to, nobody's going to care. Because the worst that could happen is they send you an encrypted message. But you're the only person that can decrypt it, so you don't care if they try to send the message to somebody else. It's just nobody's going to be able to decrypt it. Alright. So, so, so asymmetric, you said secret, private, and let's see, you also say public. Which, which one? Uh, asymmetric? Asymmetric. Asymmetric is secret, private. No. Okay, asymmetric first. Asymmetric. Private. No, that would be the two for symmetrics. Okay. You just had it backwards. Okay. But uh, yeah, let's get that. Um, 
you know, do you want to confirm any keyword in here? It's critical that we put these keywords in the right places. Yeah. yeah you have concept, conceptually you have to you have to do that. So uh, symmetric is your secret and your private key. Asymmetric is a public and private key system. But the, you can for slang you can say public key because symmetric has no public key equivalent. So we would have to know you're talking about asymmetric if you use the word public key. So that's Secret and A is all people. All people? Yeah. All people can have that because it's public, right? It works. Symmetric. Secret. Asymmetric. All people have the key. Right? Have the public. You can get the public key. You can do that. So the secret key, a private key, it has to be kept secret so, so versus all people. Can't you say the other distinction is that in symmetric key, both keys. Both ends have the same key. In the asymmetric, they're different. That is also correct. Then you have two separate keys that different people use for different purposes. But they need to, to make the asymmetric system work, you need those two different keys together to perform that function. The top one, they have to be the same key, otherwise you won't be able to retrieve the data. Well, you have a, 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 the asymmetric, you don't have to have both sides of the key, right? You know, for instance, if I'm if I'm signing something, I use my private key to sign it, and then they use the public key to verify that yeah. I signed it. So, but it's so yeah. you so you don't have so you know, so you really don't use both sides of the key for the same function. You use the different halves of the key for different functions. Well, I have a visual kind of lab that I do, where I actually we send emails between each other, and I show you where the key goes, like in the physical world, mm -hmm. which I want to do. Um, you guys want to take a quick break and then do the, do the lab? Right about that break time. Sure. Okay. So let's, all right, let's do that.